Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. Last time, we, uh, have gone deeper into the Ivory Sanctum here, and we fought, uh, oh, what was her name? I always forget her name. Jezebel, Jerabeth, something like that. Um, the lady who, or the, uh, fae that was, wait, I forgot, Emperor's insane. The fae that was, uh, in charge of Winter Sun. We killed her, uh... Yeah, Ember is now insane. She's a lost cause. Uh, we are in dire straits at the moment. Because Ember is also our healer. We do have a heal here. Um, so I think we are going to have to retreat back to Dresden to regroup, re uh, repair, not repair, uh, reheal. All that good stuff. But if you look at the map, this is door. There can't be a whole lot here, right? Right? That's what I'm thinking. So maybe there's just a little bit of treasure back there. And oh, just a simple enough. heal like this. I did nothing. Ouch. Your... Oh, wow. <laughs> That's probably why. Well, never mind. Still, we're going to give it a shot. Because what's the worst that could happen? Never mind. It's not the key. The key we need is not that key. But we did get a key, right? Let me uh, check our inventory here. Yeah, I'm not going crazy. We got a key. Correct? Where was it? Is it this? Crypt key? No. I don't think it was that. Is it in here? Slime covered key. I wish... Is there, there's no way to, like, search... Uh, for, like... When you got it, right? Time acquired. Chipped key from the Ivory Sanctum. Despite being riddled with cracks and rust deposits, this key's durability means it's still functional. Okay, so it's not to that door. Ember, keep up. Please. But we don't have any way of healing Ember. So, yeah, we have to go back. There's really not anything else we can do that I'm aware of. Uh, we have to go back. And Ember will eventually just kill herself, it looks like. Which, maybe that'll cure her of her insanity. Never mind, she healed as well? I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to leave until she gets up here, am I? Now that I think about it. Alright, she is moving now. That's weird. This okay. War must end. Keep going, Ember. You'll get there. Nope. Ember, stop. Nope. Don't. Don't stop. Keep going. Make things right. This will be a while. Another riveting few minutes here. Oh, that'll that works. Um, let's just take everything. Oh, I felt like I had to sneeze. Alright, oh, now we have to get out of here. Forgot about this. I'm still a really big fan of the song up here, whatever music's playing right here. It's very nice. Alright, so we have to go back to Dresden. And heal up. Now, we didn't rest in there at all, did we? No, we did not. Okay. Back to Dresden. Oop, nope, wrong button. That one. To Dresden. Alright, now we can go back in here and we can sleep at the Citadel. See if there's any other business to be done. Okay. Now rest. Um, we don't need to cook. We will scribe a scroll. Let's go ahead and scribe phantasmal web. 
There we go. How does that little old gnome manage to be so titchy and so terrifying all at once? Uh, it's the eyes, the crazy eyes and the pasty skin. <laughs> and the excellent hearing. Speak clearly or stop mumbling. I feel like he was speaking very clearly right there. All right. Have we look at our invit or our party here? Is everybody cured? So you still have insanity. So that doesn't go away by sleeping. That's a shame. Uh, you still have intelligence drain. You still have all your ability drain. So no. Um, greater restoration or heal for her. Okay, so let's go to the temple. And maybe we'll buy some restoration scrolls too. Just to make it a little bit more convenient for ourselves. I wonder if there's ever going to be anything to do inside the temple. Or inside a lot of these buildings out here, like the barracks. We, I guess the prison gets used. Um, Nenio's in the inn. We don't go see here very much, do we? Uh, I need help. I, I Help me, please. Uh, sort by name. Scroll of Restoration Greater is what we're looking for. There it is. A little pricey, but that's okay. And we'll buy... Give me ten of these. Yeah, we'll take ten of those. And, you know what? Since we're here... I think we're going to buy this, too. You guys had a good idea to uh, sort of uh, switch this in between Reggie and uh, Sila, whoever I have with me at the time. We're going to buy that, so we'll have the second pair. Got to make sure we have the other pair. Also, we can sell all this stuff, bring down the price a little bit. And we can have those. Balance Defender, eye for an eye, hand axe. We can have these. Sunstroke. Hasty Eradicator. Uh, yeah, that's it. And sell those. Okay. Now we can go back into here. So you go ahead and use... Where is it? Greater Restoration. Right here. Use. There you go. She's healed. And then we can use this on you. And on you. And on you. There we go. And we have a few to use for... I got these one for Barrett too. We'll have a, a few to use when we go back, because I imagine we're going to have to fight more people that deal ability damage. So it'll be good to have those. Alright. Reggie? What do you use? Natural armor? So this will be just better anyway for you. Yep. Go ahead and put that on. There you go. And we need to go back to our room to get the other half. Because that's where I stored it, I believe. I hope. I hope I didn't accidentally sell it. I don't think I did. Personal chest. Go here. There it is. And we can also put these things in there. Mm, we'll probably sell that amulet. So this is replacing our natural armor plus three. So we're going to lose a point of armor, or a point of AC. Oh, we're going to actually lose... Well, as long as Reggie's within t 10 feet of us, our AC is 41. Ooh. Maybe I'll give that to somebody else. Maybe, like, I'll give it to Camellia or Wooljif. Instead of me. That might be a better idea, just... I mean, typically they're going to stay near me, right? But so will the others. I think I think I like that more. 
So for this mission, we were bringing Wool Jeff with us. We're gonna keep the same party um, as we go back. Just um, you know, I, they don't want to leave the the job half half done. Area exit. Same group. Yep. I am tempted to bring Davin with us for the heals, but we have to be able to survive without him. It's just how it goes. All right, now we have to go all the way. Do we want to buy anything else before we leave? Let's check the Crusader map first. Skilled craftsman can do some work on the relic. The relic will be augmented. The fate of the faultless daybreak. The return of the faultless daybreak is a sign that promises victory to the Crusaders. The glow of this holy relic put put on the commander's gear will fill the souls of brave warriors with hope and their hands with power. It is necessary to decide on which item it will be placed. A heavy flail. So heavy flails are two-handers, right? Yeah, unfortunately. Otherwise, that'd be really cool. A light shield? Uh, I doubt it's going to be good enough. Or scale mail. Hmm. Well, I think we're going to get the scale mail. I, it's not going to be used for Baird. Baird wouldn't use any of these. Uh, but I know nobody uses heavy flails. I don't think we have anybody that uses light shields. Maybe Camellia uses them. But she uses bucklers. Is there a difference? Can I see on here? No. Let me just... um. Mm, I'm going to trust the scale mail. I'm pretty sure will be useful to somebody. So we're going to get the scale mail. The commander's servants have carried out the out the decree. Perfect. And then we got an economy thing here. Thanks to a generous donation, the clerics will, organ will organize a religious celebration in Dresden that will raise morale of the crusade crusaders. Energy point income increases by 20% and financial point income reduces by 10% for 30 days. Do we need to do that? Should we... I'm going to hold off on doing that one for now. Alright, hold on. Can we rank anything up? Nope. Development. Okay, so we can expand an outpost. Economy is the religious feat. So, help of the nail. Ten Hell Knights are recruited at the commander's headquarters. The expeditionary corps of the Order of the Nail is ready to set out for Dresden to aid the Crusaders with bringing in the light of civilization to the savage wastes of the wound. We should do that decree. Can't do anything with the relics. Alright, so we can do this. Um, one of the outposts with at least level three of the... At least three of the four construction slots filled can be upgraded. Do I get the pick? Is it going to pick for me? Outpost of Bastion Expansion. They're all the same. There's no indication that I can see of which one it is. So I'm going to assume I can pick once it's finished. I don't know. There's a lot of uh, finance points we just spent, though. Yep. That's okay. That's what they're there for. All right, back to the map. I'm going to assume we're, we're ready to go. We don't, we don't need to buy more potions or anything. Let's get back to the Ivory Sanctum. All right, head back there. I'll take one day and 16 hours, so it's quite far. Uh, failed to sneak. Of course we did. Of course we did. Okay, we got Ash Giants. What else we got? Three Ash Giants is what I'm counting. There might be more things out there, though. So, Arushalek, go ahead and attack. And you're going to charge this guy. Good. He's going to go up there, hit him. That's not good. All right, so we are going to be sleeping, I'm sure, before we get to Diver Sanctum. So we're just going to unleash on these guys. Cover me, all right? 
Uh, Zenith, you go after this one. Go after him. Get over there, Reggie. Alright, there is another one. Arushale. Uh, back up. Fire him. It's kind of hoping you guys would be doing a little bit more here. They're just ass giants. Ow. Just ass giants. Okay. Good. There we go. I did put, um... I did put, uh, whatchamacallit on them, right? I did, okay. And, okay. Just checking to make sure that she does have Finian's bow. Uh, go ahead and heal. Reggie, get over there. Heal before me. Good. Going after Baird. Miss the cleave. Desna, guide my hand. Desna needs to guide your hand better. Alright. Fantastic damage there. Distract them for me. Good. Um yeah, go ahead and coup de gras. The ice giant here. Okay, that did not work. This one's mine. Alright, he's gonna stand up. We're gonna take some big hits on him. He's gonna go after okay, good. Make your peace. So it is attacking with okay. Attack! <laughs> I'm gonna figure this out. Don't you worry. One day. Time to share your treasures. I will bring down the divine wrath. All right, one left. It was a little shaky at the beginning there, but they weren't anything too tough. I've done it. I have done it. Oh. <laughs> We shall overcome. I'm I'm amazing. I'm the best Pathfinder player you've ever seen. No arguments can be had. Cover me, all right? Eternal Rose. Get in there. Reggie, kill him. There we go. All right. Go ahead, Papa Heal, just in case you get ambushed on the journey. Where's the way out? Let me out. There it is. Uh, do we want to take any of these? Nope. All right, and let's continue. We got some fatigue going on. There we go. The next sleep. Before we do that, oh, stop. That was bad. Uh, let's go to our Crusader army here. I believe I was coming down to attack you, right? Or you? One of you. We want these daily financial finance points. So that's where we're going to be headed. Let's go ahead and save. And use this on you. There we go. And head down here and attack. Welcome to Ivory Sanctum Part 3, the Crusader Edition. Alright, let's start off with firing a shot at the Rift Drakes. Ah, they do... They have a lot of health. It's a little worrisome. Alright, they're gonna be able to get to there, so you just move here. And then here, for some reason, I don't know why. All right, here come the Rift Drakes. They can spit. Holy shit. That's not good, is it? Well, that was really good damage. 
they did so much damage to us. Oh man. Do we need to retreat? We're gonna lose the whole army, aren't we? Oh my god. <laughs> Try and take some of these guys out. Maybe he'll start attacking the shield bearers and he won't be able to do anything to them. I don't know. Go here. I'm scared. Ah. We need to try and take something out. Alright, they are going to use their cultist ability here. Nope, they're not because the, the rogue died. Okay. Yeah, we've lost everything. Army 1 has been destroyed. But we killed one of them. That's something. Take down more of these guys. There goes the Hell Knights. There they goes. Okay. We we'll keep doing this. And, you know, in theory, we probably should be attacking the, the Rift Drakes. Getting some of them, their numbers down. But, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. It's a little late to be worried about that. We're going to attack you with this last one. There we go. Decent. So the cultists can't do anything to us now. It's just those guys. We are out of what we have. Failing at a by stun. Should we try this? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Try that. It did stun them. Good. And try it again. Excellent. All right. Now we just got this buff to do. I think he's going to beat us. <laughs> but we are going to do as much damage as we can, because why not? At this point, it's like... What other choice do we... Did this get upgraded? For one round, why is it still going? Permanent. I don't know. Take it, though. So, whoever comes up next will have an easier time of dealing with these guys. I don't know if this is a good idea. You guys can let me know if I've just made a terrible mistake losing my best army like this. But, uh, you know, it's kind of too late. You know, this is kind of my punishment for going so far into enemy territory. Second attack, yeah! Do some damage. But we did kill the cultists, and we got, you know, probably about a third of the Rift Drakes down. But we did lose. Your army has retreated to the nearest fort. Your losses. Everything. We are going to have to rebuild the army. Now, we do have army, army 2, and they are at 6 strength as well. And I'm hoping that they are going to have an easier time than uh, army 1 dealing with the forces that they're going up against. Which, we are either going up against these guys, or these guys is who I was going for. I think we're going to go for this group here, if we can get there. Nope, that's the end of the road there. Okay. So we'd have to send the army this way to get there, it looks like. 
It's a little strange. Maybe that'll open up later. Army 3, you're just reserves. Not going to help anybody. Um, right, they're on a three-day cooldown. Man, that was uh, pretty rough there, huh? Look at that. 66 Rift, Drake, Rift Drakes is what makes that six strength. Wow. Wow. Okay. Be mindful of that from now on. Rift Drakes are bad news. We do not like Rift Drakes. All right. So we got an event here. Collared Crusaders, a Chelyaxian lord with an escort of battle slaves, wishes to join the crusade. But many crusaders loathe slavery. They are asking the crusader to free the thralls and banish the out outlander. Oh, man. The option is unavailable because the crusade does not have enough finance points. I'm guessing that's to buy the slaves. And as the Azata path. Free the slaves by force or accept the new troops. Oh, man. This is a tough one. I mean, obviously, it's not that tough. When we really think about it. Um, when we think about it from the perspective of what the world is like in this game and where Baird is from. He is from Cheliax. I don't think he ever participated personally in the slave trade. Just because I don't know if I can reconcile with that. If he did. You know what? What do we got here? Get battle slaves. Four battle slaves. It's a lawful choice. And this is the chaotic choice. Bef you know, instead of going into the moral dilemma that this would rightly cause, we're just going to go with the lawful choice. And it's also kind of probably what Barrett would choose to do under these circumstances. Um, I mean, he doesn't as much as I like to pretend he's a god and owns this land and all that stuff, he does not officially own anything or have, you know, authority over the laws of this, of this land. Um, so it's, it, it'd be kind of be not his right to free the slaves by force. If we had fan ads points, I assume we could have bought the slaves and then freed them or something. But, um, Yeah, we'll take the battle the battle the battle slaves. Slavery is a part of Chelyaxian culture, and nothing can change that reality. The Chelyaxian lord has become a crusader, and his slaves are ready to fight for the greater cause with absolute loyalty. That's nice, I guess. <laughs> Relics, uh, enchanting the faultless daybreak, so we can further augment this, but not yet. Okay. And I'm assuming we do already have those. So four battle slaves. It's really not that great, is it? Well, go ahead and just put all you guys in the army one here. Yeah. <laughs> kind of a joke, really. I guess we'll probably just use this army for scouting purposes. Um, is what army one will be reduced to. Anyway, back to the party. We need to sleep. Um, do you want to cook? I think we're going to have to sleep again. So I'd rather make sure we have a good watch here than anything else. So, and I don't want to waste our food as well. So we'll do that. Go ahead and begin resting. Ember, if you draw everything beautiful, how come you never draw yourself? I've tried. But every time, embarrassment gets the better of me. I see so many flaws in myself. No. Sorry. It's difficult for me to answer this question. You know, I'm really impressed that so far they've had so much dialogue to say. I guess, you know, there are a lot of, are a lot of characters. And they are pretty short, so I guess they wouldn't take that long to write. But I'm impressed that every time I've slept so far, there are bit, there's been different dialogue. No repeats. All right, continue on to the Ivory Sanctum. Oop. 
Um, let's go back here. So, hopefully we don't lose our second army here. Because that would be bad. But we're going to try it. We are going to try it. Let's do this. Let's save it. I think, I think it'd be really bad if we let this army die too. So we probably won't uh, keep it if this army dies. Otherwise, we'll just be waiting for a while for me to regroup. All right. So the first thing we need to take out is this guy, I believe. And this is like what we're fighting in the Sanctum here. We're going to leave the cultist alone. These guys are pretty rough, too. And so are these, right? One of these teleports. We're going to fight these guys, though. It's two damage from them. They can't do anything this round. All right. He's going to be able to move all the way up. Let's protect the... All right. He's he summoned something. Okay. We're going to send you up here. Attack. All right. It's going to teleport. Yep. It's going to take some paladins out. Paladins, you're going to attack them. Good. All right. We can do this and try and take this thing out. Good. Fire at them. Perfect. So far, so good. Ow. Uh, we got to be a little mindful of those guys, but let's take these birds out. Good. And then paladins. We want to come up here and attack these guys. Good. It's going to be some damage to the paladins. It's a lot of damage to the paladins. Yikes. Okay. I'm a little worried about these guys, so let's take them out. And fire. Two shots. Perfect. And up here. It's going to be good damage there. Alright. Um, it's going to do a lot of damage to us here. Unless we can take out more of them. I'm going to lay on hands on self. And then attack. It's going to be... Okay, that wasn't too bad. We did lose a lot of barbarians. But uh, I think we've won. Beautiful. All right, let's see what we lost here. So we lost eight marksmen. We lost a lot of barbarians. Well, maybe not a lot. What is that, 13? Still, when we only had like 30. That's a lot. But we didn't lose any paladins or the heavy, heavy calve. Not bad. Considering they were a level higher than us, I think that was pretty good. A poor prisoner who was freed in the battle asks for a word. In his hand, an item wrapped in a rag. The prisoner says he was once a crusader, and for decades he has hidden this item from the demons. He is overjoyed to present it to his savior. Deadly Toll. It's a scythe. This plus four scythe has a plus four bonus to critical hit confirmation rolls. Damn. That's pretty good. Be cool to play a scythe character. Oh, I should... I... <laughs> I'm just thinking about playing a lich playthrough with a scythe. That'd be cool. Ooh. 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 Okay, fireball. Deals power times power plus 5d6. Fire damage to all units in a 3x3 three three area. What does this do? So is it's... It's an AoE version of this. All units in the army gain a plus two bonus to speed, a plus three bonus to attack, a plus five bonus to initiative, and a plus three bonus to reflex saving throws for one round. Sounds pretty good too. We're obviously going to get fireball. And that feels like it's probably going to make me pretty powerful now. Do we think we have what it takes to take on a, a fort? Probably not, huh? Probably shouldn't do that. I want to try it, but I probably shouldn't do that. All right. Uh, what else do we got? We got these two armies. This is a, as a spellcasting general, so we want to avoid that one. This one we could probably take out, though. Are those cultists? Yeah. Let's head down that way. Let's take them out. I've, I'm so confident I didn't even save. All right. So, fireball. Let's 
Nice. <laughs> so much damage. How far can you go? You can't even get to us in time. Everybody move up. Uh, we're actually hold. Oh, I didn't know you could reach us. That was my bad. Ah, oh, I didn't. I miscalculated. Alright, we're going to do this. Good. I have you attack them. Awesome. Barbarians, you come over here. And there. And there. Okay. There was quite a bit of damage there. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But we should be okay. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have risked that, huh? Holy shit, we lost a lot. We need to get him a better hospital. Of course, we, I think we've probably gone out of range of any hospitals we have as well. Yeah, our barbarians are not looking good. Alright, these tar swamps where so many Sarkorian trades had once operated were, were then occupied by mud demons. Now they are safe again. The tar can now be drawn from the depths to serve the needs of builders, alchemists, and tanners. Daily income, material points times 10. Alright. That's the end of the road for Crusader Army 2. We're going to send them back to Dresden, where hopefully by the time they get back, uh, recruitment won't be too far off. We're back to the main party, and we're back to the war map. Underground Avengers. A group of mongrels that has arrived in Dresden is itching for a fight. Land worries that the belligerent recruits might ignore their orders in battle, lose their heads, and then lose their lives. Position them in the front rank ranks. Rein them in and position them in the rear. 30 mongrel sharpshooters, sharp fast and rapid firing sharpshooters, are recruited at the commander's headquarters. Or 30 mongrel fighters. I want the sharpshooters. We know that they're good. And I think that's the option we'd pick anyway. Uh, Path of the Angel. This option is unavailable because the mongrels did not taste demonic madness in the shield maze or because you did not choose the Path of the Demon. Interesting. Start event. In battle, in a battle, the hot-headed and the reckless are the first to die. The mongrels were ordered to stand behind the formation as, as so as not to agi be agitated and spurred into rash action by their close proximity to the enemy. Good. And 30 of them will be able to put them right in to the um, armies when the time comes. We might even uh, replace them with the Barbarians. Since the Barbarians only have one left. Might not be a bad idea. We'll see. We'll have to wait until the time comes. I swear we're going to do a little bit of Ivory Sanctum this episode. Ah, we almost got there before she got fatigued. Let's sleep out here. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna... We're gonna do this. Keep it like this. We might fail to cook, but we're gonna risk it. Pearls of wisdom from Brother Wolgif. When you're on a job, don't go wearing a big sweeping cloak. When you're sneaking about the house, you'll knock over every trinket like an idiot. True. I never bring my cloak when I go thieving. Alright, we succeeded at everything. Perfect. Back into the Ivory Sanctum we go. And it's raining blood. Fantastic. Alright, let's head back down here. And hopefully we won't have to make a second retreat out of here. Let us press on. We brought enough restoration scrolls, although we didn't bring another greater restoration scroll. So if you run into somebody who can make us insane again, uh, we might be in some trouble. How are we doing on levels? Mm, a little over halfway. It's a really cool uh, dungeon, though. I love the entrance. How oh, it's so eerie looking. All right. 
Okay, so we need to go back over here. Did we go into that? Did we ever go into that room? I don't think we ever did, did we? Let's go check over here. I'm sure, Baird's up first. Defeat Hello, everybody. Hi, right, we just killed one of you guys in the um, the war, in the war. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of archers and then two Panaja Panajai? Panaji? Panajai. Panajai. Um, can you guys be slept? Look at me looking at their weaknesses before I attack. They cannot be slept. So instead, we're just going to fire. We got a lot of health, that's for sure. We're gonna send Demon Bane after that archer. Barrod, have you go after this guy. Reggie, I'm gonna go over here. And we're gonna have you attack him. Very nice. Did I get, I got to attack him, cool. Um, we're gonna send, I'm gonna send you up here and I'm gonna have you do an acid arrow at this guy. Yeah, look at that. All right, he missed over there. Um, Saucy will come up here and, is, and bless everybody. Yep, good. Oh man, they, they walk creepily. Look at their legs. All right. Good damage there. Finish him off. Good. You're gonna run over here. Oh, I was hoping you'd finish him. Maybe Barrett can finish him. Nope. Arushale, attack this guy. Perfect. Man, it makes such a, a big difference having uh, Finian as your weapon instead of just a regular bow. Or composite bow. Stab you or zap you. Why not both? I don't know how I, I I remember I checked and I thought I I thought I was wielding it. I was not. Okay. Come up Be here. Gone, You'll be ready to attack. Alright, Ember. Gonna use a burning arc. Good. Demon Bane. Attack. Everybody attack this guy. Take him out. Desna, guide my hand. Distract him for me. Good. And then we just got these archers to deal with. Fall. Easy. Ember, just scream at them. I don't want you to use any bigger spells. That was actually a really good one. And there we go. That went really well. I'm very happy about that. All right, what do we have here? Masterwork stuff. Spear plus one. Got some chests. Take it all. Leave no loot for the demons. Got a locked chest. What's in there, Wolgif? This is my kind of work. Some scrolls. Oh, that reminds me, I want to uh, read some scrolls for you. Ooh, cream soup with a snout. Sounds delicious. I love snout. Uh. There we go. Copy recipe. Perfect. Uh, I guess while, we're, while we were in there, let's go ahead and take a look at our scrolls. Go ahead and learn key shout. Copy. Uh, scroll of web. Phantasmal web. Hungry pit. Heroism greater. Break enchantment. I think a break enchantment's actually a really big spell. Maybe you should have learned that in a uh, Ninio. 
scroll or circle of death? That sounds like it was probably a big scroll too. Maybe we wanted to save. Oh well. I do need to check to make sure I'm not learning any spells that Wolgif's ne never going to be able to use. I don't know if he'll be able to use like level 9 spells. Alright, so that goes down into some sort of study or meeting room. Conference room. Um, let's go over here first. Check down here. Back down this path that we never gone that we never went down. And uh Reggie, go ahead and mount up too. I like you better on the mount. Ah, that's this is gonna be a boulder, right? No? Something is not right here. Ah Our path leads on. Kill a vampire. Is quite a discovery. Did we fight a vampire in here? I don't remember doing that. Phantom Slayer's Bracers. Whenever the wearer of these bracers hits their studied target for the first time, the enemy must pass a fortitude saving throw or become blinded for three rounds. That sounds fantastic for um Grey Boar. I have to remember to give that to him. Alright, we've got a ruby ring. And a pick lock pick and a note. The layman and the wise man perceive different things in the same symbols. Seek out precious knowledge where others blindly pass it by. Three change places with four. Turn the star to nothing and hold a star in the darkness, but a different one. Hmm. I'm gonna go back into here. Is this referring to this puzzle over here, maybe? So, three changes places with four. Turn a star to nothing, and behold a star in the darkness, but a different one. All right, it's time to put our thinking caps on. If I can find the other note. It was one of these, wasn't it? Mm, gotta try and find it. It's been a couple days, so I don't actually remember where it was. Exactly. Here it is. Okay. A triangle, an upside down point, a upside down five pointed star, squares and circles. Triangle, an upside down five pointed star, squares and circles. Whereas this says, three changes place with four. So you do the square where the, so it goes square. Maybe I'm not, maybe this is a different thing. <laughs> three changes place with four. The star Turn the star to nothing, and behold a star in a darkness, but a different one. Okay, so we do square. I don't think that worked. <laughs> I don't think this is right. I'm not doing this right, am I? This is a different star here. Ho oh, ho! I'm such a smart boy. This is my kind of work. A ring. A ring of sacred touch. 
Whenever the wearer of this ring lands any touch attack against the enemy, this attack deals an additional 1d6 holy damage, and whenever the wearer heals a target via touch spell, the spell heals for an additional 1d6 points of damage or health. That's pretty nice, huh? Nice. All right. Cool. Now, I, I'm guessing I got that right, and I didn't just get lucky, right? <laughs> I'm pretty good at that puzzle. I like that. I should do more of those puzzles. Makes me feel good about myself. All right. How much time we got? We got 10, 15-ish minutes left. Let's go check out this room down here. Uh, everybody get back here. There we go. Open the door. Hello. We're going to do a barred charge to start. Can I get in position to... I'm prepared. Our time has come. Charge. Hi. These magics should be used in other ways. Hello, everybody. How are you? I guess not. All right, Barrett, just, just go in there anyway. Oh, God, what is that? Oh, no, not mind fog. Anything but mind fog. I don't know if that worked. It doesn't seem like it did. Get in there. I said get in there. Good. We did find something too, but I don't know what it was. Move up here. Try and get eyes on everything. Okay, Baird, get down there. I think Mind Fog mostly affects spellcasters. So I don't think we need to worry about it. Mirror image and phantasmal web. Okay. Uh, Arushale. Then step up and. Did you just get mind fogged? Yeah. Okay. Damn it. What'd you do to his soul? Nothing. Good. Get down there. Save. We'll, we'll save. Oh, God, blasphemy. Okay. We're okay. Alright, uh, take him out. Damn. Yeah, you guys are all stunned. Displacement. So much ability damage. Where are you going? That was terrible. Okay. Let's try to slumber this bug guy. Can he be slumbered? He can be. Did not work though. Damn it. We've got some confusion. Hopefully it's confusion and not insanity. Okay, we are in some trouble. Prepare yourself. Stab you or zap you. Why not both? Okay. You can put this guy to sleep. Put anybody to sleep, Ember, please. Alright, he is able to get up. And able to attack. Ow. This isn't going very well, is it? In fact, this is going very, very poorly, I would say. Baird? 
Uh, I don't know. Force reality. He has these spellcasters. They suck. What? That was pretty cheap. Um... Actually, I should have... Ah, well. Damn, that didn't do anything. Um, I'm guessing this guy's chaotic. Chaotic evil. Yikes. Good damage. It's not good. Alright, we need to take those guys down. Okay. Damn mirror images. Um... Good. Arushale, I need you to... Ooh. That's not good at all, is it? Oh. Okay. Okay. What's gonna happen here is we're gonna sleep him. And it's gonna work. It didn't work. Um. Arushale is gonna kick some ass. That's what's gonna happen. I hope. That's really good. There's actually some really good shooting there. Saucio didn't die. So that's good. Saucio is going to heal. Arushale did it. Okay. Well, unfortunately, as as you know, successful as that ended up being, um, it, it's not good that we keep doing that. I need to do better in our fights. Um, I will lend you my so that's not good. It's very not good. So we need you to do some restoration on yourself first. Good, and then you're gonna. You're gonna heal. Yeah, there you go. Heal everybody up. And we're gonna have Ember do some healing too. You can do this major healing on everybody. You don't need to waste it on Barret, but it's fine. And I can do this once every 24 hours. There should be decent healing. Um. We're not going to use another one of his restoration scrolls. We're going to use... Not restoration scrolls, but his restorations. We're going to use... These instead. Use the lesser restoration scroll, too. Oh, you... You think that'll work. We'll find out here in a second. It did work, good. Um, we actually didn't use the one that... Your spell. I guess we'll save the spell. Might as well save the spell. Okay. Use it on you. Use it on Bull Jeff. And I think that's everybody. I don't think... Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like I usually got hit by it. Okay. Well, we've got some death, some death's doors. Um, but... I think we're still good to go on. And loot this. Some books. Go ahead and loot these things. Of course the dagger wasn't masterwork. What do we have here? Headquarters maps. Scouting reports. Mission plans. Your officers will be very keen to take a look at these documents. I bet they will be. Assuming we make it out of here. On the nature of the divine. We've got some... Something over got there. something over there. And pick this lock. It looks like it's probably trapped. It looks like something that would be trapped. This is my kind of work. Wasn't trapped. Fortune's temper. 
Whenever the, wield the wielder of this plus three holy star knife confirms a critical hit with it, all their allies in a 40 foot area are affected with the effect of the prayer spell for six rounds. That's pretty decent. They seem to like the uh, star knife in this in this game. Maybe we should do a playthrough of somebody with it. Okay. There must be something else. Somewhere, right? Did we not loot this? We did not. Now we have. Huh. That triggered something, I'm sure. Alright, I think we're going to end the episode there. I don't want to go into the next room and get trapped in another fight. But, uh... We're making some progress here in, in the Ivory Sanctum. Uh, I know, you know, we had to go back to Dresden to regroup and everything. And hopefully we don't have to do that again. This fight here wasn't a... <laughs> a, a favorable indicator of that, though. But hopefully I'll get better. Until the next episode, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you later.